In this video, we'll be telling you everything you need to know about raw food diet for your Great Dane. The video will cover topics from the simplicity of commercial raw foods to the complexities of DIY diets and learning how to transform your Dane's health with one meal at a time. I had the chance to talk with Karen from Deer Valley, Dane's about raw feeding and the challenges and opportunities associated with it. Karen is a lifelong Great Dane enthusiast and has owned and cared for Great Danes for over 32 years, from rescue pups to fancy show dogs, all of whom have been routinely fed a raw diet. She's explored various types of raw diets, from commercial raw diets to BARF, also called Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods, PMR, or Prey Model Diets, DIY, Slightly Cooked, and Combination Diets, learning a lot along the way. Here's what Karen had to say. For those new to raw feeding or looking for convenient options, Karen suggests trying out commercial raw food options first, such as Oma's Pride. While more expensive than kibble, she believes that the cost is worth it when there are potential health benefits like natural natural digestive enzymes for better gut, health, less massive stool production, and a higher moisture content with naturally occurring minerals and nutrients. It's important to keep in mind that not all commercial brands are of equal quality though. After getting accustomed with what works best for your pup, you'll be well on your way to exploring DIY alternatives, although Karen warns that it can be difficult to keep a balanced meal if you go this route. She says there is a lot of buzz about do-it-yourself raw diets. This option, also known as making your own raw food meals, is perhaps the most difficult to maintain a balanced meal. While this excites and motivates many dog owners who think this is going to be the easiest, most nutritious, and most cost-effective method to a well-balanced raw diet, there are a few objectives to keep in mind. A balanced raw diet using the prey model promotes an 80% protein, 10% organ and secreting organs, and 10% bone ratio. Sometimes it's easier to keep with one source of protein while transitioning to raw. Your dog will have preferences, and it will be a lot easier to adjust the diet if your dog reacts negatively to a protein. Awful needs to be balanced with muscle meats and organs, heart, kidneys, liver, etc. Certain bones can be served whole or ground, including chicken, turkey, and duck necks, and possibly chicken backs. Beef bones should be finely ground to a powder if fed with the meal, or can be served whole as recreational bones. Make sure the size and shape of the bone is appropriate for the age and size of your dog. For example, a 2-3 inch raw beef bone is going to be too small for your 130 pound adult Dane. If you do feed recreational bones, never leave your dog unsupervised. Karen discussed why sourcing your proteins is so important. It's vital that you find a local butcher or source who can answer questions about their product and how the animal was cared for when it was alive. She recommends looking out for signs that the animal may have been fed antibiotics or raised in an unhealthy environment, as this will be passed on through their meat, something we don't want to serve our dogs. Any protein, whether it be chicken, beef, turkey, duck, lamb, venison, or whatever you plan to serve is only as good as the animal's health when it was alive. What does that mean? If your chicken comes from a factory farmed chicken farm, what was in its feed? How was the animal cared for when it was alive? Was it remotely unhealthy when it was processed? It's a lot to think about, but thinking about it serves a very important purpose. If that chicken was fed antibiotics or was raised in a sickly environment, that is what you are feeding your dog. Was the chicken feed made from grains that were sprayed with pesticides? If so, that is what you are feeding your dog? Did the chicken have access to clean water? Every answer to those questions are what you are serving your dogs. The point is to find a local butcher or local source and ask questions. Find the cleanest, natural, and ideally organic proteins you can procure. If your supermarket butcher or local source can't answer those questions, move on and find another source. Danes have a short enough lifespan that every moment counts, and what we put into their bodies is what we get out of them in terms of a healthy, vibrant lifespan. In terms of what ingredients should be added to your pup's meals, Karen suggested adding organ meats such as eyeballs, liver, breast meat, sliced bones, pancreas, testicles, and tripe. These all provide essential nutrients for optimum health. She also suggested adding whole organic egg, coconut MCT oil, wild-caught salmon oil, whole milk yogurt, blueberry s, strawberries, bananas, sweet potato, fresh garden parsley, and goat milk. 
But again, small amounts can go a long way. Lastly, she recommends sticking with clean, fresh ingredients rather than processed alternatives as our pups deserve nothing but the best. Karen went on to explain how raw feeding combined with exercise and playtime, along with regular veterinary visits, low stress environments, and positive training, and leadership strategies set up our canine family members for many happy, healthy years ahead. Her company, Deer Valley Danes LLC, was created to fulfill a need for raw and combination feeders who need a source for quality raw food and freeze-dried feeding options, as well as holistic wellness products that are well-researched, carefully selected, and successfully fed to many Great Danes throughout the United States. She has worked with Great Dane owners and enthusiasts over the last decade to provide encouragement, recommendations, and assistance for raw feeding and alternative care. If your Dane has any underlying health concerns, you still may be able to incorporate raw food and fresh whole foods into their diet, but it's always in your Dane's best interest to talk with a qualified holistic veterinarian to determine which food options are best for your dog. For more Great Dane information and goodies, check out Love Margo website and our social media. If you want to know more information about Great Danes, then check out this playlist of comprehensive Great Dane guides we have put together.